Hello, this is Zach Clark, Development and Leadership Coaching, and I want to talk with you about how you can re-energize your efforts to raise money between now and the next key point in the giving year. So let's say you're looking ahead to the end of June and you want to be at a certain point in your giving by the end of June. Or let's say you're looking ahead to the end of October and you want to be at a certain milestone or a certain point at that stage in the year so that you're well positioned for the end of the giving year. So the first thing I want you to do is establish that pivot point in your mind and we're going to talk about how do we energize our efforts to get things moving to that point. Now the first thing that I want you to do is I want you to pull together your list of people who gave last year but have not yet given this year up to this point. So I don't mean that everyone that gave last year uh, that hasn't yet given um, through the whole year. I'm just talking about in the same period of time. Let's say that it is, um, let's say that we're in April and you're looking back to last year. Who gave from January till now, till April last year and has not yet given at this point? And I want you to be able to really focus in on those people. So we're going to pull together that list of individuals and then we're going to stretch that. We're going to determine who can we be talking to about giving at this point in the year. And I want you to get a clear, clear and clean list of individual names and their giving history. That is key. We have to be able to actually look at these names. And I don't mean run the database report on your computer and look at it yourself. I want you to have that list. I want you to have it printed out on paper or shared digitally with your team. I want you to sit down with your team. If you don't have a team, I want you to form a team around this idea of re-energizing giving. But let's sit down with the team and we're going to look and review each individual name. And what we're going to do is first assign each individual name to someone who's going to be responsible for communicating and following up with that person. I don't know necessarily mean asking them to give. The chances are they've probably been asked to give tons of times. You've been sending them communication. Uh, maybe someone's been meeting with them. What I mean is someone who's reaching out to follow up with them and cultivating that person through a decision-making process to the end of that next milestone that you have coming up, that next pivot point. So we're going to have this clean list of names. We're going to assign each name to an individual person responsible, and then we're going to identify what we can do to move that person forward in a decision-making process. So what is most important is looking for ways to bring new energy and new information in updating these people and bringing them along in their decision-making process. For example, many of the people on that list may have been hearing from someone quite frequently. Maybe they've been getting letters from the head of the organization. Uh, maybe they've been assigned to the same staff person, maybe even for multiple years. They've only been hearing from that one person on staff in your organization. We're going to change that up. We have to change that up if we're going to re-energize this, this new wave of giving here leading up to that pivot point. So we're going to think creatively about what we can do. Uh, now that we have a person assigned, is it a different person or is it the, are they hearing from the same old person? Uh, let's change that up. Um, what can we update them on? What new pieces of information can we share with them? What can we tell them about what other people are doing in terms of giving? All of these things will re-energize that decision-making process. So you're going to develop a list, five, six, maybe even ten things that we can do to move these people forward. So we've got a list we've, uh, of names. We've identified a person responsible for each of those names. And now we've come up with a creative list of ways to update, inform, and re-energize people on that list to make decisions before our key giving point in the year. So what do we do next? So at this stage in, in your work, when you're looking ahead six weeks or 100 days, it's usually best to begin to group these prospects around smaller milestones or smaller chunks of your overall goal. So let's say that you need to raise $100,000 in the next 100 days. It's not just having the list and assigning the people and having activity. You've got to help these people understand where they fit in. If you're asking a person to give $100, 
$100 just doesn't make that much of an impact on $100,000, especially in the mind of the giver. So you have to help them see where they fit in. And we do this by breaking that $100,000 goal down into smaller chunks or smaller projects or smaller milestones. So let's say you look and you say, okay, we've got out of 100,000, we're going to identify 10 that if each of those 10 gave very significantly, we'll get to the 100,000. And okay, now we're going to identify 50 that if each of those 50 gave 1,000, we'd be 50,000 along the way to our 100,000. Essentially, you break this down smaller and smaller and you group the prospects in that way. So a $100 prospect, let's say, someone that's gave that in the past, you're asking them to give $100 to the next $1,000 milestone. And, and we're working our way up, of course, the levels of giving. So we're grouping people and being open and straightforward about where they fit in. And then when we reach out to them, when we call them, when we communicate to them, we're saying to them, in the next six weeks, in the next 100 days, we're working on the next $10,000 in giving. And I'm calling just a handful of people that have been generous to us in the past and ask him to really think and pray about making a gift toward this next $10,000 milestone. This is going to move us forward in such a big way to that 100000 that we really want to see given by the end of this period of time. So that's how you do that. You break them down into these smaller groups. And then the last thing, so that's number one is the list and what can we do and who's it assigned to. And uh, number two is grouping these prospects uh, into chunks based on smaller milestones so they see where they fit in. And number three is intensity. You have got to kick up the intensity at this point. In fact, your intensity has to be increasing every day which means you have to go against that negative inertia of we have so much more to go. How are we going to keep this going? Intensity has to go up every day. And you, I'm going to give you several simple ways to increase intensity every day. Number one, um, overcome this resistance internally that we have inside our hearts as we're trying to make these, these calls or we're trying to take these actions. And there's a few ways you can do that. Um, make check marks on a board, you know, it, it, take your calendar and put a check mark for every day you're getting a gift. You'll like seeing those check marks. If you've got a list of people that your team is working with and talking about, making check marks as those people give. It's such a simple little thing, but it keeps that momentum going every single day that you look at, uh, look at that list. Another way to keep the intensity going is don't worry about making 100 calls or even 50 calls a day. Just worry about the next 15 minutes. In the next 15 minutes, how many people can I call? How many follow-up calls can I do? How many people can I touch and give them this update? And the last thing I would say in terms of intensity is remember that you are intense not to get people to give a gift. That's going to take you into harassment and frustration and uh, pushing people and uh, are we putting pressure on people? No, the intensity has to be around the work, which is guiding people through a decision-making process. I'm calling this person to give them an update as they're going through a decision-making process. So we've been doing a lot of, this is you on a call, we've been doing a lot of communication lately. I wanted to reach out to you and see if you had any questions. I know you're, you're thinking about us. Hopefully you're considering including us in your giving this year. Uh, will you uh, let me know what you maybe need from us? Is there some information that you need? Are there questions that you have that I can answer? How can we serve you and help you as you're making a decision? Um, gosh, you probably get asked a lot for gifts. How do you make decisions? What's your decision-making process? And then again, what do you need from us. All of this keeps that intensity pointed the right way, which is we're helping people make decisions about what they can do to make a huge difference in moving our organization forward. I look forward to seeing how you apply these and get some new momentum going as you're looking ahead to your next giving milestone. Thank you.